Okay, so I'm headed out. Um, let's see what it's going to be. Um, something that I wanted to note is yesterday they triggered my check engine light here at this hotel that I'm leaving. Um, they didn't let me sleep. So the entire time I was here, I didn't sleep. But that's been the case at all these hotels lately. <laughs> They get one night um, where I sleep and they just replay it. And then every night they're after they make sure I don't sleep. I lie about who's spending the money. So this has been going on two weeks. Um, I wrote in detail on Facebook um, what the elements were. in terms of factors, what the factors are and what would make, why this Oklahoma situation still isn't any different than the Ohio situation. Um, that's actually part of the reason I'm sure my check and like, I did reach out to Mercedes Benz yesterday and this morning. I haven't heard back from the service tech that I normally deal with. Did they take that sign off of there? They get me. But maybe it's not that it's not that it's not that all these little mopeds, y'all. This is what it's about. They did this to say the automotive industry but they ended up in the hands of some of the most flawed individuals. Like those that um, could never think, you know, they had too many shackles on their brains. They couldn't think of other ways to spend their welfare checks. They couldn't get jobs. They couldn't, um, a lot of things, a whole lot of things. And I, I am stopping right there because they won't let me say all the things. I hate that welfare always is the first thing that comes out. Look, decoy. She was walking right behind me. <laughs> they avoided this all night. And yesterday when I got in, all that side was closed, which means that we're, they were painting it as a different place. White guy, he's in the car. I think this, it is. It's the guy that's been staying um, in the room. I think he's been in the room next to mine making all the noise he's been out here sitting in his car for about an hour since about 11. my key fob isn't working i don't know if you can hear me pushing it He's making sure he keeps his head down, trying not to notice me because he's claiming he's me. So the whole reason I started this recording wasn't to show really um, what I normally would. Since I'm leaving here today, I wanna show how there's some classic Upland Avenue things taking place because they're not because they're claiming that this is not a hotel so I'm gonna sit out here in my vehicle for a little bit I'll, I guess I'll let my car warm up let my give my car a chance to warm up and you'll see that they're the ones that they're calling me will start to kind of flood out and the bad part about that is you'll only be able to see it on this side not the other side but he's in place to block 
Remember what I said last night. No, I mean, I completely sit outside in my car when I pay for a hotel room. That makes sense. And it stole a lot of energy from my face. I were attacking my limbs while I was there, so everything began to feel um, tired and bloated. Like so, for example, my shoulders and arms. To make sure that they didn't fit into the um, shirts that I brought. Like, I returned some thermals yesterday to make sure they didn't fit. You know, they, like, pretty much expand those areas overnight and make it really tight and uncomfortable. And you know when you're not the same as you were yesterday. They said she's showing all these people how he's actually acting like he's in the same headspace as her. No one in the world is in the same category or categories as me. I am the only. tape go they said they were going to have to put my situations back on me and that they were trying to claim them and divvy them up They said they're mad because I haven't looked at my account and they don't have an image of the money <laughs> that they were trying to claim while they kept claiming I had zero. You know, I keep my checking um, account at zero pretty much 90% of the time. <laughs> um, and I just transfer money from my savings when I need it. So that can even be up, up to and at checkout. It takes seconds. So I'll see that my total is 88.64. And I'll transfer 88.64. And that'll be the end of it. And it's back at zero. Now they have my car squeaking. So it's been running for what? A few minutes? Now it's suddenly squeaking. They said he's acting like he's the one checking out. And when they say it's so weird because every time they say he sometimes is very specific. So like, you know, um, 
like just now when it was noted more than one agent said it but occasionally only the agent that's using the identity that's posing as that identity will remark and so that means a female will regard it he she'll say he's waiting or he's doing or he's being or he's going to do this noting what they're about to do what they are doing what their intent is It says she knows we messed up the headband situation because everybody was jealous of the processes my hair went through. Did a lot of hair come out? Yes. I didn't take a picture of it when I gathered it this morning from the shower. And the counter. And my seat is not heating up quick. Well, th but those that's normally quick. So it's been long enough that it would have came out right now. I wonder if this whole blocking thing, this shit that he's pulling, is like literally suggesting that I'm not here and keeping them from coming out. Like, they do stuff like that to relieve themselves sometimes. Because I thought it was odd that they hadn't ran already and tried to disappear this morning as they did yesterday. So, he's in place to support that. They say he's sitting in the car in the cold and not running his car. They said they've been noisy as fuck in that situation. Actually, a female said it like, and someone else said it with her, but faint. So she was kind of talking about the attacks she's been making on my car. He's starting to roar in my engine. So where they attached themselves to, they started to make sounds. I told you, it just, in the black matter, the not the black matter, the dark matter, it keeps things from functioning the way that it's supposed to. And they try to get as much of, off of them as they can. So let's say you start a crackhead. Could you imagine the type of shit they tear up of yours? to get you to a functional state where it's not that you didn't do drugs, you just don't look like what you do anymore and you're holding a job so you look like you um, are um, a functional addict. Shut up, Satan. You hear them like they start popping and coming, unattaching themselves from the heat. As soon as I turn it on, 
they do the same thing with the AC, but they had put so much stuff on the AC that it wouldn't blow. Like, and then, you know, the further away from the area I went where they were keeping everything, you know, where they had all their bases covered, they, they began to get off. They said they're going to know, say the guy that refers to himself as saying, he said, they're going to know that I'm trying to fuck up her car for no reason. They said, I told you, he don't know who's able to keep people from looking in their direction. They're talking about the camera being on him. Same demons. And they always do the same guilty shit. You know, like, it's always in their demeanor that they're guilty as fuck of practicing witchcraft. And they know I know who they are and they know, and they know who I am, you know, and they tread lightly. They tread very lightly because they know I'm very violent. I believe in fucking people up. All right. There's a couple. She had an odd reaction to the camera being pointed in her direction. And she only looks at me, the one that's running, and he's visible. Okay, so he flicks his lights. They said he know. They said someone knows. I couldn't make that part out. That as soon as I ride out of this parking lot, they be trying to attack the fuck out of me. And the crazy part about that is yesterday when I left here and all I saw all the cars were going. Like it's classic Upland Avenue shit. I recognize it. I but this is not my first fucking rodeo. When all the cars were going from the parking lot, and mine was the only one here. Like or. There was probably one other vehicle, you know. But when I saw that, I said, oh, that just means that... <sighs> I'm trying to put it in the same words, and they're attacking my mind. I said, that just means... that y'all are planning on attacking me while I'm out and about or something like that. It was either like, it was either that or the y'all are acting like y'all saw me out and about and attacking me, waiting until I leave to attack. And look, the whole time I've been here, ain't nobody seen me. Um, housekeeping just seen me when I left. Of course, the guys at the desk saw me um, the first night um, when they were first morning when they were pulling that covert shit, you know, fucking behind the desk, um, the redhead girl saw me. Um, when I went to breakfast that morning, they saw me, but most of them were checking out. Um, but in terms of the hallway, like when I moved, coming and going, no one had saw me um, until I hit outside. And that's where you saw, you know, the um, fidgety crackhead female with a guy um, and the book bag stunt. You saw that um, I noted the 300 that was parked in front, but, but in front and beneath my hotel room, and you, 
I think you kind of get to see that it took off like as soon as I left my room suggesting it was me. So when I got out here, the car was gone. And then when I got in yesterday, or was that before I even left? One of the two. And them over there, they, they just got in the vehicle. They didn't leave. Um, 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 I was saying when they stole, the day they stole my key. So I go to the dance to get another key. And me having that conversation, like that exchange with the desk clerk, is how they made the attack. So they stole something to make sure that I had to come in contact with somebody to lie and say I was in contact with with others and have help, okay? They're always acting like they're doing something for me because they're claiming all my activity. And that also has a lot to do with them, the identities that they are. They've always needed help their entire lives and now they're acting like they got it, like they got this thing under control and um, painting different images of themselves. Um, so that's how they solidified that attack like me needing another room key or to have my um, room key reprogrammed for the night that I extended and that was of course block you know I always kind of cover those bases well you don't get to see that I've started lately recording more at the desk like what my desk encounters are like um but I always check all the blocks before I leave and that was the one that I didn't check They said that's exactly what's happening. She got a little time on her hands and she's paying all these people exactly as they are. Um, it was, I'm trying to get back to where I left off of a saying. Um, yeah, I only came across those two or three identities outside of the hotel. With that being said, no one knew which floor I, I was um, staying on. And when I go in, I go in right here and I hit um, the stair and cause I was only on the second floor. I go in that door and literally take the next door to the right and take the stairs to my room because it just made more sense. It didn't make sense to walk all the way down the hallway to the elevator, take it up and then have to walk all the way back down the hallway. The maintenance guy, he saw me do it. One of the times I came in, he saw me hit that door and I could have played it off and just kept heading in his direction, but I didn't. That's the thing about witchcraft, you know, like, um, there's a lot of things that's supposed to be off limits, especially when you're spending money, okay? So not, I have so many things working in my favor okay and I, I i'm not just spending money or paying for a service i'm also not having sex and you don't have any idea how big and major that is and how it's going to affect the entire world like when this gets out you'll see that and you'll hear it from their mouths but that's just two just naming two okay a lot of things are supposed to be off limits though that type of stuff that they're doing at the desk at this hotel is because that guy tried because that guy asked me on a date so they're always lying about you know what's taking place here now i don't have they wouldn't have done that at another hotel So because they are acting like something more is taking place here than is, you know, anything that 
I have to do or conduct at that desk is subject to, you know what I'm saying, like, making an attack on me. Um, so, I was saying certain things are off limits. That would be one. <laughs> the other would be... Um, they're attacking my mind real bad. Anyhow, that's the female agent that showed up. You like, and she, she, I told you, she tells me she'll do it before she do it. And not like the recent example I just noted. Like it's like full blown conversation, like a real dialogue, like stating her intent and why. But, okay, so I think I'm picking up where I love her. I love her. She's going back in. And this time, not looking in my direction. They were trying to act like I was with someone. So, um, I was picking up where I love her. Oh, my thoughts. My thoughts, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. They are attacking my brain. They're attacking my brain. You know what? Y'all, and they came out that door. That door has a sign on it saying you can't exit it. And when I pushed it, it didn't work for me. Not that one up there, because that one has a sign too. So two of four doors are blocked off. Same as last time I was here. But this one here... Like, I've tried to get out of it and couldn't get out. They came out of that one. But I've only tried once. And, you know, demons do things different. They they were making sure they had a way to be disassociated with everything else. They take doors that don't work and all kind of shit. They open stuff for themselves. They make sure they have a way to manipulate reality. They said we told her as that she's not going to be at the same headspace as none of these people. So they were um, asking for sex again, like all morning while they kept me from sleeping. And then the first thing they did this morning when I woke from 30 minutes of sleep was flash an image of my, my, um, it's not sweat, my uh, image of my, um, spit glands. I, what is spit called? What is the term for spit? Saliva. Okay, so they um, flashed an image of my mouth. So it looked very, the image that they showed me looked very similar to an image that I've put out there somewhere at some point or another. And it, my um, saliva glands are not overactive, but very active. Okay, so. And they flash that and then they flash an image of a guy putting his penis in a mouth they told me since I want my vagina to be off off oh, look at what they're doing remote neural monitoring you have to completely switch up what you're trying to say like it's if, since I wanted my vagina to be off limits they said they wanted me to give them fellatio and the female agent said it to me which means she has some male identities in mind and um like I said in another video, well, since I'm putting it in this one, because I didn't record or anything, like I was, this is right before I started on my hair. Um, they like were literally making a scene. I'm talking about like crazy fucking, like, and you can hear it. Like 
they were right across from me parallel so they were claiming it was me and they were trying to apply something to them you know in terms of enhancing the act and attacking me so that means i'm getting um stimuli in my vagina i'm getting shots in my vagina i'm all types of things are taking place okay and along with this pounding type you know they were simulating like let me know that they were also having sex with me remotely and but they're making like a whole scene so you can hear this like two three door sound and they pinned that shit on me and i'm talking about he completely embarrassed the girl like you could tell she was garbage and they started talking about that and then they used it as fuel to attack me so everything that they solicit the remote harassment is like it plays so many different um look she came out that fucking door again that door doesn't work so in terms of um oh look now they're leaving but you see also that they're did i catch that that little tan vehicle over there their decoy just arrived but um look and he's breaking his neck looking at me trying to figure out why i ain't left yet and how they had to back out of it that i'm fucking up their op um i said completely embarrassed so look the thing about remote harassment is the constant talking like this cursing and spelling stuff a lot of it is things that they're saying to me but they're passing it off they're saying it on clones of me so they're attacking me with clones of me okay or someone else in my bloodline most likely my mom you know like they've been transparent about that they never really know anyone else, but they still have that, those things too. Um, but they, um, uh, trying to give up. Uh, okay. Um, um, I just want to breathe for a second. Okay, so the thing about the remote harassment is that, like I said, they're attacking me with calls of me. So what they are saying to me, they're acting like they're not saying to me okay and that means that all the foul shit that's coming out their mouths they're acting like i said okay they're acting like i'm and they will talk about themselves they talk about themselves those they're posing as the identities that they're using okay so they had a dog girl out and said all the, the the crazy stuff about how it was garbage like okay verbatim they were saying that white people think that black people have better sexual experiences but their perspective is changing from looking at her regarding me they realize that these girls are being chastised for being horrible and that pussies are different than vaginas they said that how he was doing her pussy let them know that it was no good they said that that's why he doesn't do other things for her like take her out and he would never wife her. These are all things they're acting like I'm saying. Look, this motherfucker about to go in that door too, the plumber. Oh, you can go in it, duh. <laughs> it's the coming out. <laughs> Forgive me. 
but you get the gist of what I'm saying like this is all shit that they're pinning on me and then you know they, they they're, they're behind the scenes working and orchestrating it how they want it to look painting it how they want it to be seen lying about the environments and who's who and then they're attacking me acting like it's not me that they're attacking So suddenly, the same motherfuckers that are occupying our identities are mad about what's been said, knowing these agents know I didn't say it, but they're acting like something is being done to them and attacking me and simply lying and saying that it ain't me. So they're trying to get the both of best, best worlds. They want to have a, a sex experience. That car is taken off and never got out. They're trying to have um, the sexual type of sexual experience um, that they want. You know, like, there's, they said that during that, that was their intent. That, that their intention was, they were hoping, when they pass behind you, it's always bad. And then there's a decoy over there working from a different direction. Pick up. So, um, anyways, enough about that. They were, they tried to pin some stuff on me that I didn't do. And they kept me up all night to make sure, you know, what I actually did during the day. Um, wasn't saw, like it didn't surface nowhere. That's the whole point in keeping me from sleeping, to claim my activity and pin theirs on me. And this is way outside the realm of what clinical psychology and like what, what the field of psychology wants to call sleep deprivation. This is way outside of that. When you look at what sleep deprivation is, it's something that takes place for a period of time, even though it may be on and off. Y'all, sleep de deprivation for two years straight, like, you don't hear that. It's another plane. That shit you don't hear. People will tell you, you know, they've had on and off um, issues with insomnia and stuff like that. But all of it is a fucking lie. Like, it's all being done. Creating a problem instead of a solution. And because they all want to, I mean, imagine if a bunch of white people, using white people as an example. Imagine if a bunch of white people stood up and said, no. It's not sleep insomnia. Something is being done to our minds by the government. They won't do that because it conflicts with their interest. So they're just taking medicine and shit. And like, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, they, they support the plight. Like, they support... The, the um the plights and all of the lies no different than this yesterday Halloween they support all the lies and that's in terms of majority They say she's about to move her car and he's gonna lose his mind. She saw me think to back out. And there were some curses associated with backing out yesterday. No, this morning while they were keeping me up.
This shit is so beyond inhumane. So, I don't know if any of the other things came out on this side. a trash can but there I don't see what let me see if there you know there wasn't a trash can I saw a bag of trash right there I need a trash can because I need to put something for my truck in my front seat. They're back. They said, y'all actually don't know what's happening that's making these people look at people like what? She said that she's so horrible that ain't that people, you know, this is something that she often admits, like the, the particular female agent, okay? And one day I'll get to put it in the words, but they would never allow that to happen right now. Um... But, oh, now they're separating. They're acting like <laughs> they're trying to disassociate themselves with the attacks they were making. So he's dropping her off and taking off. Miss Ruth is still trying to claim that she's me. They split up. Classic Upland Avenue. Oh, wow, look, so when he went, he was the one relieving them. <coughs> I started to talk about it when it took place, but I did. I should have because it would have made more sense. But soon as they returned, he no longer had to hide them because now that identity is riding along. So now the decoy that was in place to sit in for them, say, no, they're along, it's taken off. They're no longer acting like two. But that shit is bad too because they're acting like I'm getting a ride. They're acting like I'm fucking and I'm getting a ride. Forty-three minutes. And we just sit in this car. That guy across the road over there at Red Plains. He's starting to grow a little concerned. He's staring in my direction. <coughs> but that's where that where that other shit was coming from. They were saying he don't know what is happening or she don't know what's happening just making people look at people light and they didn't finish it because i started noting the movement that was taking place with the vehicles They said Romano is going to notice her ass demolishes all these people. And we keep putting them under the same impression in Ohio. 
we didn't have none of them go back. <coughs> so what they're noting right now is things that they're actually doing on purpose. Like it's not like they have to identify the agents that that's occupying those identities. They all are aware and they're rebelling. Okay, it's a rebuttal. Like they they are ref they they um. To, to not face the shame of what it would look like. So you, when you look at what they did during the six years of GameStop in, in, in terms of inverting these folks versus who they were prior, the changes are extreme. So they are always talking about how embarrassing it would be. And they say just for their own to end up turning on them anyhow. And you see me note this throughout. So in the, the things like digital journals and stuff like that, you see where I talk about some of this stuff in detail. But it's also noted in some of my videos. It's just my videos are always under a fucking tack, okay? Like, <clears throat> this is what they did from running the stunts they were running here. You should be able to kill people over this. I know what they're doing. They know what that I know what they're doing and who they are. They're extreme antagonists. So it, it's what makes it so foul is the same folks that you um and, and then they'll cry, okay, and they'll be like, But I was nice to her, like I don't know what the problem is. I was nice to her. I even invited her over. Uh I didn't do anything. That's why I be catching these motherfuckers red handed. Because they quit the scream, they didn't do nothing, and they were nice, but you constantly running covert stunts, bitch. And you been caught in the act. And every time you know I'm about to strike your ass on the run, or you hide out inside your motherfucking house, I don't got time for that shit either. I believe in fucking people up, especially when you're talking about tearing my shit up and attacking my motherfucking body. My body is my vehicle. That's how I get a fucking round. And I don't abuse it, so how fucking dare you? It's like jealousy on a whole fucking other level. MB5, MBM528. I've been trying to kill their asses since 2020 over fat injections. You got me fucked up. Augmenting my body, putting some shit on me that I could never fucking be, making it look like I live opposite than I do. Making it look like I live opposite of what I do. You know how fucking foul that is to make it look like someone lives opposite of what they do? And then for me to be the only one on the fucking planet, okay? The only, I'm the only bloodline on the fucking planet that has the gene to never get fat. When you look at my mom, 
she's an example of what they're, what they're capable of. When you look at the women in my bloodline that they've killed, they are an example of what these hoes are capable of to try to be like us. And that's both male and female, okay? They can't evolve. Y'all can't get by without continuously attacking my bloodline. And then motherfuckers in these old ass vehicles, they ride around with their check ending lights on for forever. And then in this biz, they act like I have a limited time. Like a better engineer motherfucking car, when the check engine light comes on, that the bitch is gonna go down immediately because they're calling in a motherfucking doom buggy. These motherfucking mopeds talking about they're claiming they're me and they want to drive in the same fucking frequency as me. So look, with science, if they want to make that drive like an Audi, they will make that pickup drive like an Audi. If they want to make an Audi drive in the frequency of a pickup, they can do it's a matter of science. Covert technologies. They put sounds on, take sounds off, um, issues, attach and unattached issues, vehicles all the fucking time. You can buy a Nissan and they will make it drive like a BMW. The, the, a Nissan that drives in the frequency of a BMW. Feels just like you're driving a BMW. I'm gonna get breakfast. <coughs> I just, I can't emphasize that enough about how they're able to simulate things. If they want it to feel like That was the thing at one point in time. They haven't said it in a minute, like over a year. They wanted to know what it felt like to have sex with me. And that they were simulating it for these guys. So they started behaving and treating the girls different. To have a... Uh, um, a uh, a um, a desirable sexual experience. She looking at punk. There's so much more I want to say, and when when I try when I as I try to get the words out, they're not going to come out in order, and it just means I'm going to end up using words that I don't want to use, and that I'll have to stumble around it. So I'm just going to end this video here. That's enough for now.